प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट ऑन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट इज द मैक्सिम सेंटर टू सेंटर डिस्टेंस एंड मिनिमम सेंटर टू सेंटर डिस्टेंस वी विल कंसिडर फॉर बिल्डिंग डिजाइन फॉर द कॉलम सेक्शन सो बेसिकली कॉलम इज नथिंग बट द वर्टिकल मेंबर विच इज सपोर्टेड फॉर द बीम सेक्शन इन ऑर्डर टू ट्रांसफर द लोड फ्रॉम द रेस्पेक्टेड हॉरिजेंटल मेंबर ओके इनिशियली आई विल ड्रॉ दट रेस्पेक्टेड मेंबर्स सो फॉर एक्साम्पल लेट एस कंसिडर दिस इज माई मेंबर विच इज रिलेटेड टू द हॉरिजेंटल सेक्शन मेंबर एज वेल एज वर्टिकल सेक्शन members basically the vertical section members we will call it as column sections okay so the whatever the load that is coming from that respected beam section that will be transferred to your respected vertical member whether it is lateral loading condition or uh, gravity loading condition or uh, axial loading condition that will be transferred to your respected column section in order to transfer the load to the foundation section so this is the main purpose of the column in the building design okay the center to center distance between the column will be depends upon the one factor which is related to the loading condition okay so loading condition is one of the most important uh, condition we will consider before designing of any kind of the structure okay so basically for designing of uh, whether it is a medium rise building or low rise building or high rise building we will consider the load cases which is related to the gravity loading condition as well as your lateral loading condition the loads which are act towards the uh, vertical direction position towards the gravitational force we will call it as gravity loads okay the loads which are acting in horizontal position in both x direction as well as y direction condition system we will call it as lateral loading condition so basically the load cases which is related to the dead loading condition as well as your floor loading condition and live loading condition comes under your gravitational forces okay the load cases which is related to your respected earthquake loading condition and wind loading condition basically we will consider here as lateral loading condition okay due to this respected lateral loading condition and gravity loading condition the center to center distance between the column will be varying okay so if you consider the higher intensity of the loading condition on that respected existing structure basically we need to provide the uh, less number of the center to center distance for the uh, column section in order to resist all the amount of the load which is coming from your respected or uh, gravity and lateral loading condition okay so please remember this point if you construct any one of the building which is related to the high rise structure building concepts basically we will follow the steps which is related to the uh, design considerations why because in high rise structure the height of the structure will be more okay so if you consider the uh, higher amount of the center to center distance between the column for high rise structure it is not applicable why because due to the effect of the high amount of the loading condition from the vertical direction which is related to the gravitational forces the cracks will be effect on your respected column due to that reason we need to consider the proper design considerations okay so basically for high rise structure case the center to center distance between the column for the building section is less why because the height of the structure will be more or due to that reason to resist that respected intensity of the loading condition we will provide the less amount of the center to center distance okay now i will explain you what is the center to center distance between the column we need to consider for designing of any kind of the building which is related to the normal condition system which is related to the maximum condition system as well as which is related to the minimum condition system okay so basically if you want to construct any one of the building which is related to the normal condition loading condition system we will consider the uh, respected center to center distance between the column is 12 feet cross 16 feet which is approximately equal to 3 meter to 5 meter so this is the normal condition system okay so if your loading condition is in normal condition system which is example of zone to seismic zone with low effect of the wind loading condition with uh, proper values of the gravitational load we will consider this respected center to center distance okay so this is the normal condition system so next one is maximum distance so basically if you construct any one of the building with uh, maximum distance of the center to center distance of the column we will take the value as 24 Four feet, which is approximately equal to seven point five meter. Okay, so this is the maximum value we need to consider. But at the same time, when we consider the maximum value of the center to center distance between the column, we may, we have to take the proper design considerations. So here we are taking the span is seven point five meter. Okay, in order to resist that respected seven point five meter length, uh, center to center distance between the column. we have to take the proper design considerations okay so this is the concept so if you want to de design this respected building with a uh, higher distance of the center to center distance between the column we have to change the dimensions of the beams and column sections okay the next one is minimum center to center distance okay the minimum center to center distance for the building section we will consider as per the is codal provision is 
8 feet okay so as for the uh, standard system we are taking the 8 uh, 8 feet is the minimum value so which is approximately equal to 2.5 meter so 2.5 meter is the minimum value that we need to consider for minimum loading condition system okay this respected normal condition system maximum condition system minimum condition system will be uh, depends upon the loading system okay so if you are constructing any one of the building in general case we will take 12 feet to 15 feet uh, sorry 16 feet center to center distance between the column for the respected building so if you are constructing a building with the uh, maximum amount of the respected center to center distance we will consider 24 feet which is approximately equal to 7.5 meter so if you are constructing any one of the building with the uh, uh, center to center distance between the column we will take minimum as 8 feet which is approximately equal to 2.5 meter okay so these respected factors are much more important for considering the any kind of the building design sections okay so as for the uh, standard values we are taking this respected values okay most of the people will be take this respected values as per their considerations for example let us consider the maximum value so here the span of the respected uh, beam or column center to center distance is 24 feet so here for resisting of your respected 24 feet uh, which is approximately equal to 7.5 meter okay so we have to take the dimensions is higher I, I was already explained this respected point so you can read this if the loading condition increases the column and dimensions uh, beam dimensions will be increases okay so this is a uh, important point we need to remember before considering this respected maximum as well as minimum distance between the column to column okay so if the loading condition increases the column and beam dimensions is also increases in the sense if for example if i consider for the maximum section let us consider this respected value will be consisting of 7.5 meter so if i want to construct any one of the building which is related to the g plus 1 model let us consider we are taking the dimensions of the uh, b mind column is approximately 12 uh, inches cross 9 inches so these are the dimensions which are we will generally take for designing of g plus 1 structure okay so if the respected value will be comes under your maximum condition with the this dimensions it is not possible for sometimes okay so that's why we need to increase that respected dimensions of the b mind column section so this is also one of the important point for example uh, we are taking the dimensions of the b mind column section is 12 uh, inches cross 9 inches for the g plus 1 building as per the standard so if you want to increase that respected center to center distance between the column in between 2 20 feet to 24 feet basically we will consider the higher dimensions of the column as well as b let us consider here as 14 inches cross 9 inches basically we will consider the depth of the beam will be 14 inches and width of the beam is 9 inches in the same process we will consider the column section as per the orientation we will take 14 inches is the vertical section 9 inches is the horizontal section as per the consideration the reinforcement value will be depends upon the many factors as i explained in the previous video okay so please follow that video for the reinforcement values of g plus 1 building okay so this is the complete concept about the maximum as well as minimum distance between the column for designing of any kind of the building basically it will be depends upon the uh, loading condition which is of gravitational load lateral loading condition okay so if you construct any one of the building we will consider the for the normal condition system we will consider 12 feet or uh, 16 feet depends upon the considerations for the maximum case we will consider 24 feet is the maximum value for the minimum condition system we will take here as 8 feet is the uh, value we will consider as per the standard basically for high rise building basically we will consider the center to center distance between the column is less why because the height of the structure will be more okay so this is the complete concept about the center to center distance between the column so if you have any queries about this respected video please text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for the respected questions which are related to the minimum as well as maximum center to center distance between the column okay thank you